In 2024, the maximum amount of your income that will be subject to the Social Security FICA, the income tax, is 168,000. And last year it was like 165,000. And the year before it was like 100, you see my point? It goes up a little bit each year. And that is the maximum amount that they will take out of your paycheck for Social Security. Now there's on your pay stub, there's the FICA Social Security and there's the FICA for Medicare. Medicare, they take out less, but they take it out of every last dollar you earn. That never ends, that's, that's forever. So this earnings cap of 168,000, why? Why don't they, why don't they tax everybody? Why don't they tax all the, everything? So it, Social Security is not, it's supposed to be not really a tax. It's supposed to be a benefit program. And so when you pay in and then you might get some of your Social Security back, you might get none of it back. You might get more or less based on when you draw, based on how long you paid in and how much you paid in. So this year, the, the person that's getting the, the largest benefit in the country, it's like $5,000 a month. And you're like, 5,000 bucks a month? How about the athletes that make 15 million a year? How about the celebrities and all these billionaires, right? They're only being taxed Social Security on that maximum. Like I said, it's been right around here, around 100 to 150,000 for years, that's it. And they're making millions and billions of dollars. That's not going into Social Security. So that's one of the things that you will see all year long in an election year as, as a possible fix to fix Social Security is to lift that income cap. And several people have mentioned, put forward, we're gonna start taxing people over 400,000 to unlimited. But if you just tax everybody equally, if we tax every dollar, then that means that the celebrities are gonna get monthly Social Security checks of $40,000, right? So we can't just raise the, t the cap. We also have to say, well, you're gonna pay more money in, but you're not gonna get more money out. And I don't know how popular that's gonna be with the rich people. <laughs> but if you want, if you're young in your, in your quest for retirement, and you have a lot of years for retirement, you're like, what can I do to max it out? Well, you wanna get your income up to that max every year. So if I'm making $500,000, that's not benefiting my social security retirement. I wanna get, I wanna try to hit that max and then to get the maximum, like this year, that person is getting $5,000. Not only did they hit the max every year for 35 years, but they also delayed taking social security until 70. If I take my social security at my full retirement age, and what your age is is based on the year of your birth. If you don't know that, look at the link in my bio, get my social security cheat sheet. It will tell you based on when you were born, what your full uh, retirement age is. It's not 65, right? You can change that. For me, I was born in 1966. My full retirement age is 67, where it will levelize for anybody born in 1960 or thereafter, it's gonna levelize at 67 until they raise it. And yeah, they wanna raise it to 70. That's, that's not news to you, right? Will they ever get it raised? They'll eventually get it raised, but it's not gonna be easy and it won't be soon. So right now we're looking at my full retirement age is 67 and I'd get 100% of, of my, they call it my primary insurance amount, if I take it at my full retirement age. If I take it earlier, and I can take it as early as 62, I'll get a reduced amount. And if you get my social security cheat sheet, you will see at my earliest age, if I took it at 62, I would only get 70%. And then I get a little bit more every two months where I wait 100% of my full retirement age. And if I wait till 70, that's where I would get 124%. That's the maximum. So don't be one of those people that call me and say, hey, my dad's 75 or 80 and he's still working and he's never taken his social security because he's gonna max it out. No, it's not growing past age 70. And if you want to get the maximum, be a high earner for 35 years and then delay taking it until 70 you don't have to click on all those articles that say the secrets to maximizing your social security. That one hint to getting the biggest social security payout. I just told you right here. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on social security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment if you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.